Here's the first NFL carry for Leonard Fournette. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Kaepernick to throw on second down. And this one's incomplete. The running back, Leonard Fournette, his intended receiver. And that takes us from second to third down. Every time you throw an incompletion, you think, boy, that's a wasted opportunity, don't you? Yeah, because last year they were number two against the pass once this Houston defense. And J.J. Watt is back for all of 2017. They'll be that much stronger. So many offenses want to include their running backs into their passing offense and be able to swing the ball out or check it down to them. But sometimes those guys are just not as comfortable catching the ball as they are running it. Nortman on to kick as he sends it away. Well, that'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And the Texans take possession. now from Cleveland and it's the Browns out to the early advantage we'll keep you updated on that one as it progresses they'll start out on the ground it's Leonard Fournette and he's up past the 10 to about the 12 it's a six yard gain on the ground and that'll make it second and four they've got it second and four to start things out From the gun, it's Kaepernick. Buying time to his left. Slips past him. Where'd he go? Oh, and now he bowls him over. Say what you want, but Kaepernick's still one of the best at doing that as the scramble gets him a first. Now that looked like the Colin Kaepernick we got to know early in his career. Able to scramble and pick up a first down. We haven't seen as much of that in recent times. Yeah, you, you know he's got the size to do it out of high school. 6'5", 170, but now 230, and we see what he can do with that frame. And I heard people didn't want to step in as a, as a hitter against him because he's a pretty darn good pitcher in high school, too. 92-mile-per-hour fastball in high school. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive trying for his tight end, Rivera, and it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And he's able to get it back to right around the 27. So we are in the second quarter now as the offense gets set to take over. They've got it first and ten. The Jags getting ready to set up shop on offense. And, Charles, it's a question with them that I feel like we've asked many times before. Is this the year you think that they turn it around? They enter 2017 having missed the playoffs for a ninth consecutive year. And until Jacksonville answers that question affirmatively with a playoff run and a playoff appearance, we keep asking that question, and rightfully so. Look, they've had excellent drafts over the last three, four, five seasons, most of that on defense. This year, they tried to hit it on offense to try and help out their young quarterback back Blake Bortles. They went with Leonard Fournette, the big runner out of LSU. Cam Robinson, the offensive tackle out of Alabama. They want to control the ball a little bit more, and they think if they can do that, play better on offense, they can make a run in the AFC South. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. No gain on that run, and while this team is down, they're not out of it by any stretch of the imagination. Maybe you just have to think about a different style of running in order to get this guy going. Here's Kaepernick to throw. Under pressure, and the Texans able to get in there for the sack. J.J. Watt in there to sack him for a loss of six. Here's third and long. Kaepernick needing a big play to counteract the sack. Two minutes to go here in the first half. We're back to Houston after this timeout. A reminder coming up at this and every halftime this season. We'll be checking in with Larry Ridley in Orlando for highlights and analysis. Under pressure again and down he goes again. Oh, and after the sack, he's still down on the field. Oh, hate to see this. Week one of the season. We'll be back. Here's Brad Nortman now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. A big rush by the Texans, and they block it. 
Now, so much for pinning him really deep. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. A reminder that later tonight, we'll see the Giants and Cowboys battle in Dallas. Seems like they're always playing in week one. And then on Monday night, a doubleheader, Adrian Peterson, his first game with the Saints. He's already back in Minnesota to play the Vikings. And then a 10-20 start on the East Coast. It's the first game for the L.A. Chargers traveling to Denver. A nice AFC West matchup. 11 yards there for Jacksonville and a first down as well. That was an excellent job of recognizing the situation. His first read wasn't there. Heck, his second read wasn't there. But he bought himself a little extra time scrambling out of the pocket, got to the sticks, and picked up the first down. 16 yards that time on the pickup for the Jags and a first down. We talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. Kaepernick now on first down. Being chased out left. And he is out of bounds just a yard or two shy of the 30. Illegal forward pass. Offense. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. Here we go. Grand 38. Grand 38. On second down, here's Kaepernick. He finds Hearns left side. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. From the gun on third down, Kaepernick escaping the pressure right. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. A good decision in the end to pull it and run. Get some nine yards and a first. On first and ten, here's Kaepernick. Flushed out right. That is caught inside the five. Give him 30 yards there. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. Working from the gun, it's Kaepernick. And it's caught. Only a yard in the completion. It's second and goal. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Here we go. Now Kaepernick throwing on second down. And that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. This offense ready to get back out there as they'll have the football to start the third quarter. Out come the Jaguars now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up. And we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. Throwing now is Kaepernick. Eluding the pressure right. It's caught right side. It turns. And the play goes for 19 yards. Gives him a new set of downs. Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And on that play, he's able to get on the run, and they're still accurate throwing the football. To throw, Kaepernick. He'll check this one off to Fournette. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 11 more on that one and another first down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. Here we go. Kaepernick now on first down. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. And he's going to be taken down, but not before reaching the 15-yard line. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. 
cool under pressure right there, escaping the pocket and finding what I think was not his primary target. And some of these guys are just so comfortable getting outside of the, the pocket. And they will score. It's a Jacksonville touchdown. Colin Kaepernick. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Jaguars are an extra point away from taking the lead. Well, the defensive coverage was good. So good, he just decided to make a play of his own, and it worked out. Yeah, you often wonder if they think to themselves. How will this offense respond? Their defense just gave up the touchdown. Now it's their opportunity. First and ten. To throw, Kaepernick, flush to his right, going deep for his tight end, Rivera. So they took a shot on first down, but couldn't connect. One thing I know from experience is that when the deep ball is thrown and you're the defender, you've got to fight that little bit of panic that emerges. You've got to play the ball really well. It's a 50-50 jump ball play, and guess what? They took a shot. How are you going to win it? And in this case, they managed to get it done. Call it a gain of four, and it'll leave them with a third down and six to go. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action, hit them over the top. And Robinson with a big catch. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Call it a gain is seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. A Jacksonville first down on a pickup of 17. I like how they worked the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not even going to catch the football. He's going to run away from you a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Well, he's proven real effective running the football. No one open, don't force it. Just get what you can. And that's what he's done very well in this game. Shotgun snap now for Kaepernick. Steps away to his left. And he whips that one incomplete there. Marquise Lee, the intended target. And it's third down. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. On third and long, it's Kaepernick. He's got the hook up to Lee. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. 23 yards on the play. One of the selling points of the in route is it gives the quarterback a really nice sight line to his receiver and almost on a direct shot, able to throw the ball into the middle of the field and have a great chance of success as they did on that play. He'll get it inside the red zone, but only for a couple down to the 19. And now the offense operates in the red zone. Here's a carry for a former starter. This is T.J. Yeldon. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. So nothing there. I don't know that that's all in the back, though. you got to look at blocking there, don't you? I would agree with that totally. At some point, they have to win at the point of attack. Instead, it was the defense getting it done again and holding them to no gain. Back now here on EA Sports. This one's still anybody's ball game. It's a one-point difference here as we begin the fourth quarter of play. And Myers able to knock it through. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in After a good punt, this offense will start with tough field position inside the 10. Here comes the Jaguars' offense as they get set here. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up. And the most curious way there to burn some clock. That was wild. And at the end of all that, it winds up a safety. 
late stages of the game here in the fourth quarter as this offense takes over first and ten. And now out come the Jags. And last time they surrendered the safety, we know they don't want to do that again. That is just one of those oddities in scoring that we get. And it's just so strange to see that go up on the board. And then you got to make sure that that doesn't happen to your team again. They've got to take care of the ball. But boy, it juices up the defense. Oh, without a doubt. That's a great way to score some points. To throw is Kaepernick. Forced out to his left. Going to let one. And got his man complete. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it, and they got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try to loosen things up, that would be the time to do it. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. A first down carry now for Yeldon. Holding offense. That one whistled against a big right tackle. You'd think being able to fire out and block would be a lot easier to not commit a holding penalty. But it's tough to keep those guys right in front, isn't it? Kaepernick going to throw. It's complete to Robinson. Flash the stick skills on that run, but then stop shy of the 35. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Now Kaepernick, dancing to his left, looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Lee, and they do stop him, but he takes it all the way to the two. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. On any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, he was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. Now a play fake here on first down. Touchdown, Jaguars! Tommy Bohannon, a two-yard touchdown grab. have been clicking in this one. A lot of points on the board. We'll see if that trend continues. Out comes the Jaguar offense now as they get set to take over. Now the Texans are going to stop it as they signal for a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Oh, Kaepernick's going to throw it. Flushed out right. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. The Jaguars on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and eight. Kaepernick to throw. Buying time to his left. And he'll slide down to avoid the tackle. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. Double tight, guys, double tight. Here we go! To throw is Kaepernick. Being chased out left. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. A big pick up there, and without question, that should be more than enough to wrap this one up. All right, partner, I'm a defender, but I've got to express my admiration there. Moving around, making it happen, and instead of worrying about protecting himself, he goes and gets the first down. I've got to give it to him on that one. Normally, you don't want your guy taking shots, your quarterback, but it's winning time here in the fourth quarter. If he needs to make those plays with the legs, go ahead, right? Yeah, no doubt about it. It's, at this stage of the game, all protections, they're off. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. 
They go down to a knee, and the new campaign off to a good start. It's a win here in week one. And partner, this first week, this first game that we get to call together, so special every year week one. You had the fly over the big American flag out there before the game, all the hoopla, just having football back, so special. It is an opening day, opening game. There's just nothing like it because you really build to a crescendo. But the best part for us is that crescendo lasts for a while. Opening game here, an entire season. We get into the playoffs, to the Super Bowl. I was really excited. I could barely sleep last night. I can't imagine being a player. So for the Jaguars, it wasn't always pretty, but they do eke out the week one victory here by a field goal. And they will head home next week to take on the Tennessee Titans. Meanwhile, for Houston, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they'll try to turn things around next week as they have a matchup in Cincinnati against the Bengals. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we say so long, everybody.